Hello everyone and wel welcome to today's session. Uh, this is Nellie Deutsch and, uh, and um, it's wonderful to be here uh, every week as I present something on uh, teaching online, one of my favorite pastimes. Okay, so teaching online is really awesome. It provides us with a lot of satisfaction as teachers, but you don't have to be a teacher to be able to enjoy teaching online because it's gratifying for anyone who wants to share information. You don't have to be a uh, qualified teacher or someone with a teaching degree or any other thing. You just have to want to share information, show people how things are done, and so on. So everyone can use WizIQ for that purpose, and that's what we're going to do today. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a live online class such as this one and present. First thing to do before you can do any kind of presentation, of course, is to create the class, all right? Or as it's called, schedule a live online class. So uh, we're going to get started. All right, so first thing you do is to actually think of what you'd like to present on. All right, so you can organize it, set up a PowerPoint presentation, decide, of course, what your topic is going to be, how you're going to present it. Well, you know how to do it because you've got a PowerPoint there and that should help you. But remember, when you schedule a class, there will be a link and the link will be the title. However, you can change all the other information and let me take you through that right now. All right, so let me put my screen. Okay, there I am. I can uh, place that somewhere on the side so it won't interfere. All right, so let me put myself there on the side so you can see me, but you can also uh, watch the video, the PowerPoint presentation. All right, sometimes I'm also going to get rid of it to make sure that it doesn't distract, which is one of the things that you might consider in a flipped classroom, whether you want to have the teacher looking at you as I am right now, or whether you want to have the teacher on the bottom as I will be placing myself. So here I am. I'm going to place myself at the bottom of the screen. All right, so WizIQ is really an education online. I've been using WizIQ since uh, 2007, and the experience has been awesome. Awesome because, again, the satisfaction of watching as things improve and the quality has improved immensely, and it's going to continue improving. And that's how technology works. Nothing is perfect from the start. Okay, it gets better and better because our needs increase, and uh, we want better and better. So that's what it's all about. So let's take a look at your account. Okay, this is everybody's account. Notice here, this is my name on the top right. And that's information that I might want to change. And then there's home. This particular page is your home page. Now, what's on your home page? Mine has a lot of information. Yours might not. So first of all, my name. Okay, this is an organization on WizIQ that I run called Integrating Technology. Okay, that's my account. And notice the information on the left is the administration. It's what I do and how I navigate the different courses, my courses, other people's courses, okay, my content, other people's content, my live classes, other people's live classes, my tests and other people's tests. Divided here into admin if you're an administrator of an organization, if not you won't have that. And then there are courses, live classes, content, and tests. Now notice in the center, you've got your live and upcoming classes. Okay, that's always there. Okay, so you can see what's ahead. In addition, if you look further down, it's got a 
what's called a course feed, a discussion place where you can add your thoughts. How are you doing? It's like the wall on Facebook. And then, of course, there are updates from your friends and so on. You can set it up and your preferences here. But here we're going to talk about scheduling a live class because that's what this session is about. Okay, so let's go on to the next screen. But before we do, I want you to take a look at the right as well. Don't let anything distract you. If you're focusing on creating a live class, go here. If you're focusing on courses, that's where you go. So you focus on where you need to go. But you might want to know that on the right, you can also connect with Facebook. Okay, that's how you can connect into your WizIQ account. You can invite your friends, teachers, and colleagues to join you. Because working alone is never fun. We want to work with others. So you'll be meeting a lot of people on WizIQ and making lots of friends. So you might want to invite your friends to meet them as well. All right, so this is one way of making this a huge community of teachers and learners. And we're all about, it's a learning community. And then you can see your network. Currently in this account, I have 921 followers. I have 1,215 contacts, people that I'm connected with, people that have shared their contact information with me, and I can connect with them on WizIQ. Not their emails, okay? We're not talking about anything that's personal. It's all very professional on WizIQ. And then members that I am following, okay? 396 as opposed to my followers. All right, and then you've got information here from WizIQ, what's new. You've got to keep in mind that WizIQ is truly about education online. And every all the information that you're receiving is about that. Okay, so next, I want to schedule a live online class on WizIQ. So first of all, in order to schedule a class, I will go into Schedule Live Class. Notice. That was on the left, okay, in the previous slide. Let me show you. Okay, it's Schedule Live Class, and then My Classes. And that's what you see, okay, on the left. Schedule Live Classes, then you've got Content, Upload Content, because that's connected. If you're going to schedule a class, you want to have a PowerPoint or something on the whiteboard so that you can focus on things and your students can too, okay? It's about sharing information. So just talking, of, okay, we need both text, multimedia is actually the word for uh, optimal learning and for sustaining learning, okay? So we want to have something visual in addition to the words, okay? So both is best to see, to see images. Images are very, very important, okay, to both audio and to visual text reading. All right, so that's what we're going to focus on, scheduling a class. All right, so we schedule a class. We want to have a title. Okay, these are required. You need to have a title. As I said, you can change the title, but the link will have the title string in it. Okay, and I'll show you how to edit later on. So you want to schedule a class. You might want to make it recurring and you want to go into that. Otherwise, you can set it right now, current time. And this you might want to do just to test the system and see what it's like. You can do that, create a schedule class for right now, add your PowerPoint presentation, do a rerun practice, and get the most. Okay, that's one thing you might want to do. Next, you'll set the time. Okay, now notice the time zone. You can change it wherever you happen to be in the world. It might be your time zone, someone else's, whatever is convenient for you. See the class according to their time zone or what they've set up to where they are. Don't forget we travel a lot so this might be very important for you to make sure that it's always on the zone where you are or maybe where you want to be. That's also a possibility. All right, next, keywords. This is required by the system, so you need to add at least three keywords in this case. In some cases, you'll be able to add indefinite numbers, but you need at least three. One is enough. And then about the class. The maximum is 4,000 characters. You might want to take a look at C example to see what it's done. Because this account as an organization, I have a lot of teachers. So if I open up 
the menu, I will have a list of the teachers who belong to the organization. All right, but next I can choose whether I want to make it public. Not everybody has the right to make classes public. Um, if you don't, you'll only be able to make it private. In order to get this option, you will have to contact WizIQ support and see how you can get classes made public. All right, next, record this class. You might want to record, you might not want to record. In, in the case where you want to practice. Okay, so you don't want to record, you want to record it, but uh, not shared. Okay, if it's private, it won't be shared in any case. So it's up to you. I always record my classes because I learn from each recording. Next, allow attendees to enter class without sign up. If you have a pro account and teachers can get a free pro account, but if you're an organization, that's another story. It does cost money. Um, you can either allow people to enter without sign up or not. You decide if you want this option if you have it or not. Okay, next. Here you're going to add information about yourself. Okay, notice this icon here. That means that if you close it, you won't see this. If you open it up, this is what opens up, okay, from the menu. So notice here, maximum is 300 minutes. That's a lot of time, okay? But this class duration, you can decide, is 60 minutes. Attendees, depending on your account, of course, with the organization account, you can have 1,999. If you ask, you can also get up to 5,000, as many as you wish. That's up to WizIQ support. You have to contact them and let them know what you need. And they'll cater to your needs, okay? So that's something that you might want to consider. Next, add this class to a course, especially if, you, by the way, if you're doing a conference, you may have 5,000 more people attending your conference, all right? Add this class to a course. If you this class is part of a course, you might, you'll have a list of your courses here, and then you just click and you'll get to the course. All right, and then show attendees. You might want to and you might not. It's up to you on the landing page for your class. Notice I'm saying class. This is a live synchronous class. It happens at a certain time. Everybody comes to class and they're in class with you. It's recorded so those who miss it will be able to watch it at any time and those who didn't miss it will also be able to watch it at any time. But there is a time when the class was created like this class right now. All right, next, class type. Do you want to have a webcam and audio or just audio? It's up to you. If you think that you're going to have a slow connection, you might want to have only audio. But then remember, if you have only audio, that means that everyone will also be able to only have audio. In other words, if you want one of the uh, participants, the attendees, to have uh, webcam capabilities, they won't. All right, co-brand, if you've got a company, I'm co-branding Integrating Technology. It's a non-profit organization. We provide courses on Moodle and Hot to integrate technology. This is something that you might want to do. And then I click on schedule and continue. Okay, I hope there aren't any questions so far, but you'll be able to add the questions under this particular live online class, which is also available. I'll share the link in the chat box in a second. All right, so what do we have here? Okay, these are, remember I had about 900, I'm not quite sure how, 1,200 something uh, people in my accounts. I can arrange my accounts in certain ways, but let's take a look at this page. Once I create an account, um, once I create a class, okay, I've created my class. Okay, I schedule and continue. It tells me I've been successful, and that's a great feeling. And this is what appears. Now I can take a look at the left. Notice what's here. This is invite attendee page, but if I go into attendance and permission, I'll get that part where I can decide um, how I want it to go. If you remember, okay, this was right here, okay, um, in this area, just above add more information about yourself, okay, I can decide if it's going to be anyone whom I want to record this class, if I want the attendee list, people to... Uh, 
sign up on WizIQ before they enter the class or not to sign up. So all this information is also available after I create the class on the left. Okay, so I've got attendance and permission, class information. I can change the information. I can also add live, uh, you know, different uh, links that are active and live. I need HTML right now, but I'm hoping that soon WizIQ will have a rich editor. So by the time you watch this recording, that might be the case. All right, recording class settings. You've seen that. I can go and I can make changes. I can edit all of this. Comments, any comments that uh, people add to the landing page for the class will appear here when I click on it. Feedback is what you get only after the class has ended. And then change time class if I find that, oh, I can't do the class at this time, I've got problems or whatever things happen, I can change the class time. And then I can cancel. And when I click on any of these, I'll be prompted to give a reason. You know, you don't just cancel. The system requires you to explain why. Same thing with, well, with class change as well. Why have you changed the class time? If it's a public class, you won't be able to change unless it's after 24 hours. In other words, you have to have 24 hours before the class uh, is scheduled in order to make a public class change of any kind in class time. But you can cancel a class if necessary, if it's a public class. So let's take a look at the center here. You can select all your contacts, none of your contacts. And if you select none, of course, what are you going to do? Why do you need this page? Well, I'll tell you why because you can invite people by entering their email right here. You can also uh, send a message, okay? A message will go with it by default, but you can edit the message to suit your needs. Now, if you click on any of these, not all, but let's say you want certain people, so you click on their name, just like on Facebook, and then they'll get the message. Once you do that, the attendee list will appear on the right. Notice that you can also search for your contacts by writing their names right here. So WizIQ really is education online. It's got so many different ways to cater to our needs. So we should be aware of this and we should be using it. Because the idea behind WizIQ and this virtual class um, and its capabilities is to facilitate, to make life easy for us, not just to facilitate the live online classes, teachers, but also to do everything in such a way that caters to our needs. But we have to be aware of them. And that's why I'm giving this class. And that's why you're watching the recordings if you're not here. All right. So again, let's take a look, a closer look at uh, invite attendees, attendance and permission, class information. Click on these learn them and use them. And if you use them enough times, you'll remember because if you don't use them, you'll forget. All right. So here again, I'm going to repeat. Notice what's on the left. Here is the um, list of my contacts. I can invite by entering email, edit the message. The list will appear here and I can invite the attendees. I can also clear the selected contacts from here. And then, because maybe I've made a mistake, notice everything is here to cater to your needs. WizIQ thought of everything to make your life easy when it comes to teaching online. Something that I couldn't say for face-to-face. -face. I mean, I wish I was getting the kind of support I get from WizIQ uh, in my school. Okay, and everybody's really nice at my school. It's just that nobody has time and nobody can bother supporting teachers. Teachers are basically teachers like me who teach um, in the K-12 and higher ed. We're basically alone, all right? So in, on WizIQ, you're not alone. And of course, I'm here to support you. In case you don't know, this is uh, Dr. Nellie Deutsch. All right, so next. All right, so here are my contacts. I'm showing you an example of search for a name. And notice what I have here. Notice this. MOOC on WizIQ. No, these are not courses, but they're folders. Folders for my what? Well, they're not folders. They're contact lists. I can aggregate my contact list 
and send messages in bulk. And this is how I've done it. Okay, MUCON was IQ. All the participants on MUCON was IQ are aggregated so that when I want to invite contacts, I can invite them through these. Okay, so I'll have certain people here. And this is very specific to specific live classes. So if I'm giving a class on, um, let's say, Moodle, for example, and I have everybody on the MOOC here, I'm not going to give the same presentation, invite them to the same class if they're uh, online teaching business, because online teaching business is certainly um, maybe not compatible with M-learning or whatever. Okay, so in my case, most of my uh, contacts are from the same uh, background. And that's it. Now it's your turn. So let me take you through. I'm going to give a demo on how it's done. All right. So are you ready? Okay. So let's start the process. All right. So let's take a look at screen sharing. Okay, I'm going to screen share, so bear with me as I screen share. Okay, this is a feature in the live online class that uh, you might be interested in. So uh, let's do that, and you see how it's done on a Mac. Okay, so it's no secret. Okay, I'm not going to block it. Okay, this is something that you have to go to, through, sorry. Okay, and then this appears and then I'm going to screen share. But keep this, don't remove it, all right? So you don't see this in the recording, but you do see it in the uh, YouTube video that I also create for each of, well, try to for each of my classes. All right, so um, this is what we're screen sharing. Okay, so here it is. All right, so this is my account. As you can see, I talked about that before. Take a look at the top right, my name. I'm on the home page when I click on it. Okay, you can see the live class is taking place. There's another live class that I should have deleted, but I'd like to take you into it. A class within a class. Okay, so it's turning on. Notice I'm going into class. Here we are. Okay, this is the class within a class. Okay, let me just um, make it a bit smaller so that uh, we can view it. Okay, I like to do that because I find uh, that, there we go, here you'll see my face appearing in a second here. Okay, so I'm just getting the, uh, the right size, okay, for Camtasia, so I can uh, show you, demonstrate how things are done. So I hope, um, there we go, you can see me, and you'll see what I'll be doing here in just a second. I'm just going to minimize it. So we get a view of the live class. Okay, and uh, everything is in not only for you on WizIQ as you watch this recording, but also for Camtasia. So you see only my head here, so uh, let me just uh, fix the camera. There we are. All right, so now you see all of me, and I'm demonstrating, I'm screen sharing a live class that I created. So notice what's here. Okay, this is a live class. There are things on the left here. Notice I'm going through them. There's the uh, whiteboard, and then there's me over here, okay, giving this demo. I've got nobody in class because I didn't invite anyone. This is a private class, and I want to show you how I'm going to minimize everything. Okay, you see minimize? All right, minimize and minimize. Okay, so let me minimize. I'll start with minimizing the chat box and it goes to the bottom left. And then I'm going to minimize the attendee list. So it goes to the bottom left. And I'm going to go into pop out, put myself in the middle. I mean, it, it's not that I'm that great, but you might want to speak to your audience. So hello, everybody. I hope you can see me. I'm trying to get my eyes focused. You might also change your glasses. I know this is kind of ridiculous when you think about it, but it's important. You know, it's like being on TV. Uh, these things are important, so let me remove these glasses, okay, um, whoops, 
I'm going to remove these glasses and put on another pair because the rims are too wide and it shows up and you want to look your best. You don't want to have too many distractions. So uh, like, let's get that in there. All right. I need glasses, so I can't go without. So there. how's that? Now, you must admit that that's better, right? No rim. Okay, so think of TV. Watch yourself. Practice. That's the idea. All right, so we're looking at the left, and we see, okay, the writing tools. I can say hello. I can make it larger, of course. Okay, take a look at how it's getting maximum. Make it smaller. I can choose the color. What color? Well, I like green. All right, I can also choose uh, whether I want it in bold, underlined, and so on. Okay, I can also fill the color, the background. Let's see, let's be uh, daring. We'll make it uh, daring, yellow. That's going to kill it, right? So notice this. I'm going to write now, um, I love Wiz, well, actually, it's not Wiz IQ. I love teaching, and that's the truth on Wiz IQ. All right, so let me move myself. Today I'm yellow, yes. <laughs> let me move myself and put that over there. I can also make it larger, by the way. I can make this huge. All right, so there it is. Notice what I did. Isn't that lovely? Now, I can move that around. Okay, so I can put it in the middle. I can move my camera. I can bring in a PowerPoint. There's so many things that you can do. There's so many possibilities. Explore and use and have fun the way I am all the time. All right, so that's it. I can also put circles around things, you know, like, um, for example, around letters. If I don't like something, I can delete. There, delete, don't like that. I can also get colors for whatever I do. Notice the colors are here. I can fill in the color in the background and also the line. So let me do that now. I'll fill the background with red. Okay, and notice what comes out. Isn't that lovely? And then I can do something else. I can write inside with a white. This is love. No, I'm going to make the yellow, right? Today I'm yellow. All right, so let me write something in the center. There's the box. Okay, so I can make the box. Now, if I want to stop the color that's on my uh, mouse, so to speak, I'll go to Select Tool at the top, and then I'll be able to do other things. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to write. I want to write inside. So let me write what color. Well, now we're going to need a color here. So there's a lot that you can do. Fill in. No, I want to write in white. Okay, and no fill in because if I have fill in, I'm going to, well, maybe black. No fill. No fill. All right, so I'm going to write Nelly. There. You can play around, you can explore, I can put this in the middle, this in the middle, I can put Nelly in the middle, everything, you know, there's just so much you can play around, explore, do and have fun if Nelly's too small. You can make it larger. There, let's make her bigger. Okay, it's up to you how you do it, why you do it. What, okay, look at that. All right? So you can get your students to do it too. They can be listening to and doing things and learning as they as they do. <laughs> All right, so uh, there are a lot of values to getting your students involved in uh, drawing and doing different things as they learn. It's like doodling, uh, but at least they're with you on the whiteboard and they're not somewhere else. So think about it and let me know what you think. All right, do you like this idea? Do you not like it? Are you not sure? Okay, so I can put a smiley there. Don't forget the smiley will stay on your mouse. So go back to the selector and then you can move it around. You can make it larger, as large as you want. All right, so uh, have fun, enjoy yourself. Now next you've got the top. This is where you can file, bring a file, go back and forth. You can start another whiteboard. Okay, if you don't like this one, get another one. There, everything's gone. <laughs> you don't have to erase. You can just get another whiteboard. And then you can go into your library. Notice my library. Now, notice how I've arranged my library. It's not all content. I mentioned this before. I click on the plus and notice here. I've got different files for each of my 
Okay, courses, or, you know, it could be presentations and so on. You can divide them as you wish. Notice I'm going to extend the time. It says that I don't have enough time here. Okay, it'll give me a warning. Five minutes for me is fine. Notice here, okay, these are different courses, different files, things that are shared with me. Students' work. Notice I've got students' work that I can share with everybody. All right, so uh, it's up to you to arrange it as you wish. Notice this is shared with me okay these are things that were shared with me from the um, ELT MOOC okay uh, this is something that and I can add it to the class I can discuss it I can you know it's a lot of fun to do this look they shared I should put myself down they shared this with me isn't that wonderful absolutely wonderful alright so that's how things are done and they're amazing People, you've got to learn, and I'm the person. If you need me to help you, you can also ask support. They'll give you demos so you can work with them one-on-one -on -one or as you wish. Okay, so where do you get such support in this world? So take advantage. Next, you can see that I can screen share here as I'm doing from another class. I can give a poll. Notice how a poll is done. Isn't this fun? Look at this. All right, here it is. Can you hear me? You can have this regularly. Can you hear me? Okay, you add the poll and then everybody, and you see it as it appears. And it's amazing. And then you can share the results. So it's a lot of fun. You can share the results in different ways. Okay, so let me stop that for now. You can also go into your media player and add different things. Okay, there are a lot of things here. Um, and wonderful things that uh, you can share. Uh, I don't want to put anything, any music that YouTube would not accept. So let's see, Introduction to a Poem. I think that's fine. That's by Jace. Listen to this. You're going to love it. Can you hear anything? I can't. I wonder why. I don't... Ah, here it is. Can you hear? Let me make it louder. Make sure your volume out. Now, you can also add YouTube videos, of course, add them on play, and then you can make it larger. And I love this part. You can make it larger, but you can also get rid of the right here and do it like that. Okay, so you get a full screen of your YouTube video or whatever MP4 that you've added to WizIQ, and you can add your own files, of course. All right, when you want to go back, you simply click on Restore, and then brings you back. And in this case, I want to completely get rid of this close and that's how it's done you just follow reading reading instructions there are also breakout rooms but you can't really create breakout rooms until you have people in the room okay and um, that's how it's done it's done with participants and it's amazing it is absolutely an amazing experience to have uh, breakout rooms and i think that's it we better go back to class however i wanted to show you a few things about but I think that, you know what, I think it's you that has to do the work. And you're the one that should be uh, doing this so that you can learn from it. Um, if I want to add this to class, this is one of the things that students shared with me. Is it amazing? I think it is. Look at that, okay, the pioneers. So I want you to notice that you can go to the next slide here. You go, there's a, an arrow there, but you can also see all the slides together, all right, which is awesome. So you can see what you have. You can go also go through the numbers, okay, and number of slides. 
so many features. Now, if you're not sure of anything, there's a question mark. Take a look at the question mark. All right, it gives you um, ways of how you can use the shortcuts. Nice, nice, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna close this class. There, I've closed it because I wanna end it. Yes, it'll be recorded. Okay, and I want to go back here. You can give ratings. I loved it. Audio was excellent. Video was excellent. Content upload was excellent. Screen sharing was amazing. Media player was excellent. Loved every minute. Give your feedback. Upgrade. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. All right. So let me uh, get rid of this class because I don't want to continue it. And let's continue. So let's just uh, get this pay, uh, paid. Sorry. Um, Okay, now we only have one class. The class is in progress, the class that I'm in right now. So I'm going to continue with this and um, take you back to class. I've scheduled my class. Okay, don't forget the schedule is here. Let's go back to class now and see uh, what's there. The name of this class is Schedule, and it is right behind this one. Okay, here we go. So uh, let me click on it. Here we are. I'm going to stop screen sharing. I've got 22 minutes to go. Now you should really be careful with the time. Make sure that you're watching your time. It's at the bottom right hand side. You can also pause the class, but you don't want to be timed out. You will be alerted and you can decide how you want to be alerted five minutes before, 10 minutes before, 20 minutes before. It's up to you how you want to be alerted and uh, do that. You can extend the class by 240 minutes. So if you want to give a class that's over 300, you can keep extending and you can have a whole day of um, sessions. I mean, the recordings will take time and you may need support from WizIQ if it's a 24-hour class, but uh, anything is possible, which is what I love about WizIQ because they allow things. Okay, everything that you want, WizIQ will try to cater to your needs. So I hope you have fun, create your class, and let me know how things go. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend, and I'll see you next time. This was Nellie Deutsch on August 10, 2013. Bye for now.